Hey everybody, it's Liz. Today I'm coming at you with a small project. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but guys, I have been extremely busy with work. I really have not had any time to craft at all. I think I was able to make like a wreath and uh, an altered sleigh for my uh, entryway in my house, but that was it. <laughs> I mean, I literally have not had any time to craft. So I'm really, really bummed out this Christmas season. I was able to, you know, per make a lot of purchases, uh, buy a whole bunch of new items, and I was so excited to use them. So many ideas, and just nothing, nothing at all. I've been literally working 14-hour days, um, half the time, and half the time I'm coming home at midnight, going straight to sleep, and back to work the next morning. So it's been exhausting. It really has. I've been very neglectful to my family. I've been neglectful to my friends. I had a lot of ideas to send happy mail to a lot of people and I just have not been able to so I'm really really sorry about that and um, honestly I'm just really looking forward to this season being over. It's been exhausting and um, definitely will not repeat this next year but anyways enough rambling. I just wanted to share with you a small project that I was able to create and this took days by the way. I mean days. I'm kidding. Not even kidding. I would literally spend like 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there trying to put something together and it was ridiculous but I just have to do something because I felt so bummed out you know what I mean for Christmas not being able to craft really really sucks so without further ado let me share with you this small project that I was able to make and uh, you know you guys have two days to um, make projects and I have been so like you know inspired and excited watching your videos I'm living vicariously through you guys because I was not able to craft at all but Definitely, um, you know, do appreciate you guys posting all your fun creations, but I just have a small little share, and of course, hopefully I inspire you to maybe, you know, throw together some, uh, you know, little tags at the last minute like I did, but hey, uh, that's better than nothing, I guess, so I just made a few um, tags for my gifts. I'm going to be uh, wrapping stuff tonight and uh, hopefully be done by tonight and not have to do any tomorrow, but I was able to make a few tags for those gifts. Um, this year I did a lot of like cozy cottage uh, themed, um, you know, that was the look of like my tree and, you know, my decor in my home was like that. So I was really excited to make these cute little tags to go with the gifts that are going to be under the tree. So <clears throat> these are some of the tags and I think they turned out really cute. And, like, they, I tried to make them as simple as possible because like I said, I just did not have the time. But I did want to add, you know, cute little details and things like that. So to start off, I did use this die here, and this is by Ali AliExpress. I'm sure a lot of you guys seen it. It is a stitched tag die. But be warned if you have not purchased this, this die set is not symmetrical. It is off, like on one side. I think the angle is not. It's it's like I don't know. It doesn't match up to this side. You know what I mean? So when you are cutting your paper and you're trying to adhere it, you got to make sure that you have it on the right side because it's not symmetrical. So I was a little bummed about that, but at the same time, I paid like two bucks for this, so I can't really complain, you know what I mean? It's whatever. But I am definitely going to invest in the tr a true stitched tag die. I'm going to find one and order that because, like I said, I was a little bummed out about this not being symmetrical, but you can barely tell, and like I said, I was able to put something together really quick, so it's whatever, but you know, just in case you were wondering if you were trying to purchase that. So. Um, I cut out uh, white cards or actually craft card stock um, as my base and I did stamp the back to and from. The stamp set that I used is from Paper Tray Ink. It's a really cool stamp set that I got a while back. Um, it is this here. It's literally just to and from in different fonts and it's really cool because it, can goes, it goes with a lot of different style of stamps that I already have in my stash. So I was really excited to pick this up. It's only $5 so it's a really great buy. And um, that's how I, you know, was able to do the to and from in the back. I layered my tag, my craft tag, with the plaid uh, paper from Hobby Lobby. And then I created this oval. I basically just cut out an oval from craft cardstock using my Spellbinders die. And if you can see the background, you could see a little bit of, like, detail. That's from a stamp from Prima. It is this one here called Pine Needles. And this is one of their older stamp sets. But I thought it would be great as a background stamp. And I used Versamark ink to, um, I forgot what tag I was showing, uh, see this one you can't see the detail as much, I think it was this one that you could see it a lot better, but um, I was able to create that background because I felt like it looked naked, you know what I mean? And the stamp set that I used is uh, by Recollections, I think it's from last year, and it was a stamp set and it came with the deer head die, so this is the stamp I used, I went ahead and stamped it, die cut it, and then adhered it to my uh, little tag using some foam tape to give it, of course, some dimension. And it turned out really cool. I like the way it looks. I like the wood grain look of it. And um, 
This greenery here is from a punch by Martha Stewart. It's an older punch. I'm glad I was able to, you know, use it. I haven't used it in years, and it's just like the little holly leaves and the berries. So I just cut out two of them, and I adhered it to the bottom of the little deer head with the berries. I added red stickles to make them, you know, glisten with the glitter. And then here's where I used that banner that's from the same stamp set as this. It says, Happy Holidays. I, you know, just fussy cut that one out because it did not come with a die, and I adhered it to the bottom here. And then just to finish it off, I added these little white sequins, and they're actually little tiny snowflakes. I think I grabbed these from either the Target Dollar Spot or Michael's. I can't remember, but they're really cute. They come in white and silver, and they were in a little package together, but I was able to use them um, just in the background to add more detail to my cute little tag. And then to finish it off, I just added black and white um, twine to the top, and that's it. So these are going to look really cute on my present. I made three that were very similar. All I really did was change the background, um, you know, the deco paper. But they're really cute with all that. You know, I love the look of the plaid. It's perfect for Christmas. And then I made another design, another style. Again, I still use the plaid paper, but this time what I do with the oval, I went ahead and used my embossing folder, Tim Holtz uh, wood grain embossing folder, run it through my machine, so I can get that look of wood grain. And then this stamp set is completely different stamp set. It's actually not even a Christmas stamp set. This one is by, um, it's, it looks like this, and I think it was, what's that, Artsy, is that the brand? And remember we used to grab these at Michael's or they had them at Michael's. I think this one I picked up a Tuesday morning though when they were like, um, you know, when they had them out. Um, but this one's really cool too because it's got like a totally different looking to your head and it's got some greenery and a couple of little banners. And this one you can use year round but I did want to use it for Christmas. So again, I stamped him onto craft cardstock and used the die to cut it out and adhered it to my oval and then I went ahead and used the greenery. The greenery is the same um, on the stamp set and I, the die is included as well so I used some green ink and then green paper and then just you know use my die to cut it out and then adhere it to the bottom here. I used that same banner but this time in red ink and then I fussy cut it out to adhere to the bottom and again this time I used the silver iridescent um, snowflake so I hope you can see the difference because um, it's kind of hard to see, but these were white and then those were silver. I don't know if you could see it. But I like the look of the deer head and I just made a few changes, a few small details, and that was it. And again, oops, at least I forgot to stamp to and from. I'll have to do that. So I have that one, um, this one, and one more. So I made three of each design. And then because I really, really, really wanted to make like some shabby chic ones, I decided to go ahead and use some really um, you know, girly colors <clears throat> to make a few more tags and um, different style tags because some of my gifts are going to be like, you know, a little more feminine, so I wanted to, you know, make some girly ones. And in these, the paper collection is an older one. Oh my gosh, where is it? I forgot to bring it out here. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can get it really quick. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the older one. I'm so sorry about that. I should have grabbed it, but it's called Silver Bells. And it's by Kaiser Craft, and it is such a pretty collection. I've had this for a couple of years and have not had a chance to use it, unfortunately. Um, every year it seems like I'm not able to craft as much as I'd like, even though I still keep buying stuff, you know what I mean? I keep buying Christmas items, and then I realize oh, I can't even craft. So, like I said, next year will be different. I'm making a lot of changes in January, a lot of really good changes, positive changes that are going to, you know, affect my family and, you know, everything. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. So, here is one of the tags that I made. I wanted a softer look and, like I said, more feminine. So, basically, I used the same tag set to die cut, this time using white cardstock. Here's where I stamped to and from using that same, same stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. And I did want to use vellum. I really like the look of vellum, especially for Christmas. I think it softens everything. So, I used um, vellum, again, to just die cut another tag that I layered over the first. And then these snowflakes are from the Tim Holtz Snowflake Die, Mini Snowflake Die Set. And I just cut out using white cardstock and adhered them to um, the vellum. I'm sorry it's not focusing. Um, and then let me see. Hold on. I'm so sorry. This camera stinks. That's another thing that's going this year. New camera coming 2018 for sure. And uh, for this word here, this is just from this collection. I picked it up this year at Michael's. And I'm sure you guys have seen it. Uh, it's got the stamp set and the die set, which is awesome. I was really excited to pick that up. And um, I just used 
silver glitter cardstock to cut that out. I did use some foam, some uh, fun foam to adhere it on there so I can give it dimension and it just says peace. And then if you can see in the background, I have like a little, you know, some little bits of glistening, make it look like snow, but they're actually uh, chunky glitter. So I just adhere them on there. Um, I thought it kind of gave it a look of snowfall, and I thought it was pretty because it shimmers real nice, and it's very iridescent, so it's just really sweet. And so I did the same thing for each of the tags, of course, just changed the snowflake styles, the words, and then, of course, the background, so this one's more pink. Um, just really pretty, and like I said, I just wanted to keep them really simple because I knew I wasn't really going to have a whole lot of time to make anything elaborate. So if I kept them simple, I think I could still, you know, come up with something nice. So I came up with those three. And then I made a couple more, um, another three, and these were really fun too. I really, really wanted to bust out my my um, Christmas set here from Paper Tray Ink. This one is called Joyful Christmas, and it's got these really cool bottle brush tree stamps, some beautiful sentiment, and it's such a great stamp set. It comes with, well, it didn't come with the die. I did buy the die separately. I'm sorry, should have taken that out so you guys could see what it looks like. It's basically the bases and then the bottle brush. There's stars and sentiments. It's a beautiful stamp set and I've, I've had it in my stash for maybe two years now. Literally have not used it until now. I really, really wanted to, you know, had a great a bunch of ideas for that set and I just wasn't able to come up with anything or wouldn't, wasn't, ha didn't have the time. But I did make out, make these cute little tags again using the same collection. This time what I did is I stamped them. I wanted some soft blues and soft pinks. I was able to use Use my inks to stamp them onto white cardstock. Use the dies to cut them out, and then have them popped up on some foam tape, just to give them some dimension. And then here's where I use the words again, using the silver glitter paper. And then these are the Tim Holtz stars, and they're so pretty. I thought there'd be a great little detail to the top of the trees. And then of course, because I felt like I needed something in the background, I had these cute little tiny foam. Um, little beads or balls. These are from uh, the Dollar Tree, but I think they have them everywhere. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. I've seen them at Michael's, but it's like this bag. It's just literally a bunch of little foam beads. Um, I've been buying a lot of this for Kayla because she's been making all that slime, and she likes using these in her slime, so I thought I'd buy me a bag so I could be able to use her for Christmas, and I was able to use those cute little um, foam beads, you know, to make it look like snow. I think it's really cute. And then here's another one. This one I did change. I wanted it um, because I think that soft pink and that blue would have kind of lo gotten lost in the background since it's so, you know, light. So I did use darker inks on this one. But basically it's the same thing, you know, same details and stuff. I did have the words popped up on foam tape to give them dimension except for this one because I totally forgot. So this one I just adhered it to the tree and it doesn't have any dimension so, oh well. But really, really simple, and um, you know, I did stamp the back to and from in a different font from that stamp set, so they're really cute and pretty. And like I said, they're so simple, but I mean, it took me forever to make them because I just couldn't like have enough time to just sit here and finish them, you know what I mean? So 20 hours, 20 minutes here, or 20 minutes there, or 10 minutes here, and finally I was able to get it done. So, this is all I did this Christmas season, so I'm like I said, really bummed. I mean, really, really bummed, but um, I am looking forward to uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, hopefully I'll have a lot more time to craft and definitely share my ideas and a couple of different, um, you know, projects with you, so I am excited, and thank you so much, for you guys, for all your inspiration. You guys have kind of kept me going. You know, I would watch videos uh, when I'm doing my makeup or my hair in the morning getting ready for work, and that's kind of what kept me, like kind of motivated to like just keep going man I'm so tired so exhausted but uh, it's almost over so you guys if I don't see you or talk to you before Christmas have a wonderful Christmas everyone um, Merry Christmas to everybody I hope you guys get everything your little heart desires and I wish you all the best in the coming new year and thank you so much for continuing to support me and uh, watching my videos and you know you guys give me so much inspiration love you all and thank you so much for watching so hopefully I'll be seeing you real soon alright guys bye bye